Hey guys, welcome to another incredible tutorial here on the channel. Today, we're going to explore the wonderful world of anime style shaders in Blender. Get ready to give a unique and vibrant touch to your 3D projects. Let's start. Before we dive into the Tune Shader, it is essential to correctly configure the project in Blender. Make sure you have a scene ready to receive this anime style look. This includes adjusting the lighting and camera for maximum impact. The anime style is known for its striking contour lines, vibrant colors, and defined shadows. We want to bring these elements into our 3D models using the Tune Shader in Blender. Now let's get to the exciting part, creating the Tune Shader. Open the Material Editor and create a new material for your object. Now, let's create our Toon Shader in Blender to give that anime touch to our models. Select the desired object and go to the Shading Editor. Create a new material or use an existing one. Now we will add nodes to create the material. Use the search field to find the nodes that we will use in the material. Add a shader, Diffuse BSDF. Add a shader, Shader to RGB. Add an output node. Add a shader, Mix and Connect to Material Output. Introduce a shader, Color Ramp to adjust color transitions. Connect them as shown below. Put the colors in the mix. With this we have created the base of our Toon Shader, but we will adjust it further to achieve that authentic anime style. We can add more nodes to improve our shader, to use texture. To make the work easier, we can import material that has already been adjusted for new jobs. I will be leaving in the description of this video a Blender file already containing the Toon Shader material configured and adjusted, just import it into your models. If you prefer, you can also copy the nodes that were used in the material. To really bring your model to life, it's time to add textures. Download or create textures that fit the anime style, such as contour line textures, all body colors, eyes, clothes, among others. All elements of your character must be drawn in the texture and UV mapped. Apply these textures to the appropriate channels in the shader to add detail and depth to your model. Here on our channel we have other videos that go into more detail about texturing the character. To give the finishing touch to our Toon Shader anime, let's add contour lines. Add a shader, freestyle to your scene. Go to render settings and turn on freestyle. Adjust line settings to achieve striking contour lines. Contour lines are a distinctive feature of the anime style. Freestyle and Blender allows us to easily add them to our scene. Now that we have our Toon Shader and Contour lines, let's customize the colors and shadows to achieve the look we want. Try different settings in Color Ramp to define shadow colors. Adjust the intensity and softness of shadows using other nodes in the Shading Editor. Customizing the colors and shadows is essential to achieving the specific anime style we are looking for. The freestyle contour only appears in the rendering. However, I will be teaching in this tutorial how to make the external contour appear in the viewport. Let's go. Select your object and go to the Modifiers tab in the Properties panel. Click Add Modifier and choose Solidify. Adjust the thickness of the solid to determine the width of the outer contour. This will create a copy of your object with the defined thickness. To control the contour, create a group of vertices. For the vertices with more weight influence we will have more contour, and on the vertices where the weight is zero, there will be no contour. For the contour color, create a material in the same way as it was created before, or import a material. In the description file of this video there is also the material for the contour. A tip now, to add the modifier to all objects, activate a native add-in complement. Now select all objects. Lastly, select the object with the modifier you want to copy. Now when you press Ctrl plus C, you will have a menu where we can copy to other objects. Lighting is crucial to highlighting the contours of the Toon Shader. Be sure to position the lights strategically to highlight details and create expressive shadows. Always use a sun-type light, as this type of light is best suited not only for the Toon Shader, but for normal editing. Combining the Solidify modifier with a Toon Shader can provide visually stunning results. You now have a character with an outer outline added using the Solidify modifier in two different materials. Experiment, make adjustments, and have fun creating unique and stylized 3D projects. And there you have it, folks. With these simple steps, you can transform your 3D models into anime-style works of art. Unleash your creativity and share your results with us in the comments. 
If you liked the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any incredible tutorials like this. To the next!